All right, so first, take your bar of ivory soap and a knife and shave it down until it's all gone. Small, thin shavings. It'll look something like this. Okay, so the next step is take five cups of hot water from the tap and pour it into a pot large enough to hold that five cups. And then take your shavings of ivory soap, pour them in the pot of water, take your spoon, stir it just a little, and then take it over to the stove and begin to heat it. Okay, that's going to be our next step. Okay, while this begins to get hotter and melt the soap flakes. I thought it maybe I'd talk a little with you about cost. You know, Kent mentioned earlier that commercial laundry detergent is expensive, and it is. It actually costs about 25 cents a load on average. Powder's about 25 cents a load, liquid about 26 cents a load, and sometimes that's even if you buy it on sale. So what you won't believe is this great natural laundry detergent only costs a penny a load when you use it. So it's just a great bargain. It's a great deal. There we go. You know, most of the soap pieces are just about dissolved. It's getting pretty hot. It's not quite boiling yet. Uh, we don't really need to boil it. It's just to melt the soap. That's what we're doing here. You know, I do this uh, when I need to do this. I do it on a Sunday night before I go to bed. Uh, like I said earlier, it takes about 15 minutes. Very simple. Um, I only have to do this about four times a year, believe it or not. It makes a batch so large that it, it washes 110 loads of laundry. And for a family of four, we do about eight loads of laundry a week. That gets us through almost 14 weeks of laundry. So it's really less than four times a year that I have to make this soap. And I have some little tips and tricks I'll show you in just a few minutes about how to um, make it simple to use at the laundry station. So pretty simple. Okay, looks like our soap flakes are all melted now. Good hot water, not quite boiling. The next step we're going to do is we're going to take this large pot of hot water. Okay, it's got two gallons of water in it. I'm going to go ahead and take a, another gallon of water. So it's a total of three gallons of hot water just from the tap. You don't need to heat it on the stove. It's just not necessary. A total of three gallons of water. I've got my pot holders on just to be safe. All right, three gallons of hot water in our big pot. Now I'm going to take this hot soapy water. Be careful. Hot soapy water can be really tough on you if you get it onto you. Good. So now what you have is this really watery soapy mixture. Take off my pot holders now. So remember, this pot's not heating. It's just here, okay? Hot water now. Hot, soapy water. I'm stirring it right now just to get it really well blended. And we're almost done. Believe it or not, this is almost it. We're almost at the end. All right. And now the last two ingredients, last two steps here. I have one cup of 20 Mule Team Borax. One cup. We're going to pour it into this hot, soapy mixture and just stir until it's all dissolved. All right. Last step. A half a cup of super washing soda into the pot. That's it. And then I've been told, we got to let this really get dissolved now. I have been told that this will gel up. It'll get sort of like a jelly consistency. Mine's never done that. Every time I try this recipe, it doesn't gel. It, it stays fairly liquid and kind of cloudy and funky. Okay, that's the way it's supposed to look. So you might want to keep a stir stick handy to blend it a little. It'll work just fine whether you do that or not. And the next thing you want to do is just let it sit overnight in a covered pot. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with it next. And the last step, my laundry soap has cooled overnight. Got a nice liquid, cool pot of soapy wonderfulness. And now I'm just going to use this wonderful little 2.5 gallon jug that drinking water came in, cut a hole in the top and left a little flap, and I'm just going to fill it. What I do is, I just go ahead and put this on the shelf over my laundry area, okay? It sits up on the shelf, the little spigot allows me to just dispense it into this little measuring cup. You need about a half cup per load, and that's how you do it. 
Well, that's our show on making liquid laundry detergent. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Kent Burton. This is Maria Burton. And we're the Modern Day Hunter Gatherers. You know, you were pretty good. Thanks. I'm as good as the guy at the county fair, but... Hey! Uh, ow! You hit hard! Cut. <laughs> I'm off. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. So okay, we're done. Thanks, guys.